slow is smooth, smooth is fast, is a mantra that is often attributed to the Navy SEALs. It reminds us to approach any situation with deliberate and careful consideration, and that the quickest route to completing a task is oftentimes methodical and slow. Or in the words of Financial Tortoise, slow and steady. So in salute to our elite soldiers, let me share with you 10 reasons why I advocate so much for building our wealth slowly. And hi, if you're new to China, my name is Tay from Financial Tortoise, where we learn to grow our wealth slow and steady. Number one reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. When you go slow, it allows you to see the big picture. Essentially, it enables you to ensure that you're in the right jungle. In the book, Seven Habits of the Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey, the author gives a story about a group of people cutting their way through the jungle. The analogy was written for producers and managers at a company, but it still makes sense for our situation. Imagine a group of people cutting their way through the jungle with machetes. They're cutting through the undergrowth, clearing it out. And another group of people behind them, sharpening their machetes, supporting them by carrying supplies such as food and water. At a certain point, the leader of the group climbs the tallest tree to survey the entire situation. To his bewilderment, he realizes they're actually in the wrong jungle. So he yells out to the people, Hey guys, we're in the wrong jungle. However, the group, instead of acknowledging that they're actually in the wrong jungle and should stop and change directions, yells back, Stop bothering us. We're making progress. When we try to go fast with our finances, putting our money on this hot stock, moving our money from this bank to that bank because of the interest rate, changing jobs every six months for a higher pay, we never really get a chance to climb the tall tree and survey our progress, to check to see if we're making progress in the right jungle. We're often so busy cutting through the undergrowth, we don't even realize we're in the wrong jungle. We often mistakenly associate activity with progress, when in reality, more activity could actually be taking us further away from our financial goals. However, when we take the slow and steady approach to our wealth, we give ourselves a room to check our progress, survey the land around us, and actually see if we're heading in the right direction. Which leads to the next reason for slow and steady. Number two reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow allows you to plan. After my wife and I got married over 10 years ago, we had a chance to spend our honeymoon on the beautiful island of Hawaii. The hotel was amazing, the food was out of this world, and the whole setting was something out of a movie. However, we didn't get to enjoy it as much as we should have. The primary reason? I didn't plan on how we were going to spend our time there. We were just so focused on making sure the wedding went off right that we didn't give much thought to what we are actually going to do during our honeymoon in Hawaii. Should we go snorkeling? Where should we drive to on the island? Where should we eat? These were questions that we were asking after we landed. So we ended up spending the majority of the first couple days in our hotel room, looking at restaurants, trying to make last minute reservations, and booking whatever tours were available. We were so rushed into our honeymoon that we didn't give ourselves the appropriate room to plan. In hindsight, we should probably have given some time between the wedding and the honeymoon, so we could have thought through how we are going to best spend our time. In the same way, when we are rushing to making financial decisions because we are in a hurry to make money quickly, we don't give ourselves the appropriate time to plan. We don't ask fundamental questions such as, what are our 5-10 to 10 year money goals? What is my current priority and how does that translate to my spending? Do they align or not align? Does my asset allocation reflect my risk tolerance? All these are crucial questions that you have to wrestle with in order to develop the best financial plan that best serves your life interest. Don't be like me. Don't be the guy trying to book a last minute restaurant reservation the day before you're about to fly back home because of FOMO. Plan out your life by going slow. Number three reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow allows you to master the fundamentals. You might have heard of the saying, building the plane while flying. Essentially trying to do something or build something while you're in transit. Getting good with money requires a certain set of skills. Knowing how to track your spending, knowing how to budget, being able to distinguish between good from bad investments. Being able to identify people who are really there to help you versus who just want your money. But when you're trying to go fast with money, a lot of these fundamental skills that you need at times get neglected. You're interested in investing, so you buy the first stock that's advertised online as a good buy. Not taking the time to understand how the stock market works and what research says is the best and safest way to invest. And what platform is the best for your type of investing. So it's a matter of time before you're burned and your plane crashes. All because you're trying to build a financial plan without the basic skills required. So focus on slow wealth. It gives you the room and space to learn the fundamentals before you take your plane out for a test flight. In the spirit of mastering your fundamentals, if you like additional assistance in honing your money knowledge, for a limited time I'll be opening up my calendar for one-to-one -one money coaching sessions. A dedicated time where you can receive feedback directly from me. The money journey can be quite lonely, and sometimes you just want to get some unbiased feedback without being sold anything. If you think this could be a value add to your financial journey, please go to my website to learn more. I also have a link in the description below. Number four reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow allows you to make fewer mistakes. In business school, we regularly had to give presentations, a new business plan, a new initiative, and the financial analysis of this company. And I remember working closely with our communications professor to hone a lot of our presentations. A tip that he gave me that I still remember to this day is this. During presentation, if you feel like you're getting tongue-tied or you sense a feeling of panic come over you, 
just slow down. Don't try to rush through because you're nervous and afraid of making mistakes. You'll actually make more mistakes by trying to go faster. And most people won't even notice that you're slowing your speech. Rather, it'll seem like you're emphasizing a point. In the same way, when we try to rush through anything, we'll make mistakes. You'll open up investment accounts that isn't optimal to your life situation because you're in a hurry. You'll buy things on whim just because they're on sale, only to realize after coming home that you didn't need them in the first place. If you want to make less mistakes in money, in communication, and in life in general, slow down. But let's say you do make mistakes, because frankly, life without mistakes is no fun, right? No worries. Let's go to the next reason for slow wealth. Number five reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow smooths over mistakes. When you go slow, you're in a way extending your time horizon. Instead of saying, I need to become rich this year, you're saying, I want to become rich in 10 years. And when you have a long time horizon, the time and effect has a way of smoothing out your mistakes. Your income was cut by 20% this year? Well, no worries, because over the period of a decade, your average income actually increased by 5%. The market tanked the last three years? Well, no worries, because it actually appreciated the seven years prior to that. So your investment actually doubled when looking at it in a 10 year time frame. How many of us can think of examples where an event felt like it was the end of the world, but with time, we completely forgot about it? I have so many of those. The meeting where I said the dumbest thing to the board member and thought my career was over. But a few years later, everyone, including myself, forgot that the meeting even happened. Or the time that I was in kindergarten and I peed in my pants because I was too afraid to ask my teacher about going to the restroom. No one remembers that, right? <laughs> When you take a slow and steady approach to wealth with a long-term horizon, the activities that we thought would ruin us are just speed pumps in hindsight. The number six reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow is less stressful. Fast is stressful. Have you ever been in a roller coaster or in a car going at 100 miles per hour? It's not a fun place to be at. When we're trying to make money quickly, stress is a given. You might get into day trading because you see ads everywhere about how people are making thousands overnight. But day trading is as stressful as you can get. Show me a day trader who's at peace and I'll show you a leprechaun at the end of the rainbow it doesn't exist. Or if you're more conservative, you might not get into day trading, but you might be jumping from job to job every few months to get the highest pay possible. Making sure you're being paid market value is important. However, jumping from job to job constantly probably isn't the best way to maximize your salary. You aren't giving the position enough time and energy required to make you truly competitive. You aren't developing your career capital, which really is the best way to ensure you're getting the highest salary possible. In addition, moving jobs every few months is quite stressful. You have to get acquainted with new colleagues, a new company, and a new way of doing things every few months. Slow doesn't have the thrill of a roller coaster, but you won't have an ulcer at the end of the ride. Number seven reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow allows you to enjoy the journey. You've heard of the famous saying, it's not the destination, it's the journey. When it comes to getting good with money, there really is no final end state, no finish line. Money is only a tool to enable us to design the life that we want to live. Slow might not bring in millions today, but that doesn't mean we can't live our best life right away. When we take a slow and steady approach to building our wealth, we're incrementally getting better with money every single day. We invested a dollar into our index fund today, so we're getting better at investing. We cut back $10 from our clothing budget, so we're becoming good at controlling our impulses. We prioritize our spending on things that bring us joy, so we're getting a better understanding of our own needs and desires. And all these incremental improvements bring us joy today, not tomorrow. When we're so focused on making money quickly, we have a skewed perspective that happiness will come when I arrive at my destination. But what destination? And why wait until then? Focus on slow and enjoy the journey so you're maximizing your happiness today, not tomorrow. Number eight reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow allows you to build sustainable wealth. The honest truth is that fast doesn't last. Just look around nature. Have you ever seen a mung bean sprout grow? I've seen quite a lot given they're a pretty common staple in Korean dishes. They're one of the fastest growing beans and take just a day or two to grow after the initial soak. Now they're great for miso soups and pad thais, but don't expect to use them to build your house. Strong plants and strong trees take decades to grow. On average, it takes 20 to 30 years for a tree to reach full maturity. In the same way, sustainable wealth, wealth that can survive high unemployment, unexpected expenses, and uncertainties of the market takes years and decades to build. And it's not just the money itself, but the habits that come along with the wealth. When you've spent a decade managing your impulse spending, your self-control muscle is buff as ever. When you spend countless hours studying the market, and therefore your investments, market turmoils are just a blip in your long journey, not a life-threatening event. Your wealth, your mental, and your emotional capacity to handle money is a solid oak tree that won't waver regardless of what life throws at you. Number nine reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. Slow actually allows you to move faster. Now I have a confession to make. Despite having spent six solid years in the army and having spent quite a bit of time in the firing range with multiple weapons, I am a horrible shot. It's embarrassing to admit, but I really struggled with hitting my targets in the range. Thankfully, the range sergeants were sympathetic to my incompetencies and gave me the coaching that I badly needed. And I remember them talking to me about the importance of slowing down, especially if I wanted to hit my target and eventually get faster. It sounds a bit counterintuitive to think that we need to slow down to go faster, but there's a reason why slow is smooth and smooth is fast is often attributed to the Navy SEALs. 
The range instructor essentially told me I was moving faster than my shooting capability allowed. I needed to slow down so I could perfect my techniques, methodically focusing on each movement slowly, my grip, my aim, and even my trigger, then incrementally speeding up as my technique improved. Now, I would like to say I walked out of that range immediately with a perfect score, but that would be a lie. Let's just say I did well enough not to be an embarrassment to my unit. When we slow down, essentially all the things that we talked about so far about money compounds. We have a clear financial plan. We know the fundamentals of personal finance. We are making dumb mistakes. And therefore, all these things compound to make our progress to wealth faster. Essentially, our money techniques are perfected like a well-oiled machine. Number 10 reason why you want to grow your wealth slowly. In the journey to wealth, there is no price for being first place. Personal finance is not a race or running against each other towards some arbitrary finish line. Everyone's financial situations, goals, and desires are different. One person may want to have enough money to travel the world 365 days a year. Another person might want to have enough money to just not stress about it anymore. My money goal five years ago was to have enough financial cushion to quit my day job to start a hair grooming YouTube channel. Well, that didn't work out too well, so I had to resort to my fourth option, which was to talk about money. So to rush into trying to make money quickly, especially thinking you're trying to beat someone, is itself quite ridiculous. Who are you trying to beat? What race are you trying to win? In the journey to wealth, there is no price for being first place because there is no race in the first place. Go slow, smell the roses, and enjoy the journey. Thank you guys for watching, and in the spirit of smelling the roses, if you'd like to learn how actual millionaires spend money, please check out my video here. Until next time, all the best.